now the next one a ball is thrown vertically down with a velocity of 20 from the top of a building it hits the tower after some time the ground after some time with a speed of 80 the height of the tower is just applying energy conservation the loss in potential energy that is mgh is gain in kinetic energy half m 80 square minus 20 square you can write so m and m goes so h would be 80 square that is 6400 minus 400 upon 2 into g which is 1020 so this is 6000 6, by 20 that comes out as 300 meters so this is option 1 correctly marked next Capillary tube of radius R, this is uh, not taken properly by me, is immersed in water and water rises is up to a height h. The mass of the water is 5 grams. Another capillary tube of radius 2R is immersed, the mass of water that will rise is. So just remember h is inverse to the radius. So when the radius is uh, doubled, height will become half. So in the first one, the volume is pi r square h. In the second one, we will have radius is doubled, but height is half. So that becomes 2 pi r square h that is double the volume, double of the initial one. So the mass would be doubled, it would be 10 gram. Option 4 will be the answer. In a guitar, two strings are made of the same material, are slightly out of the tune and produce beats of frequency 6. When tension in B is slightly decreased, the beat frequency increases to 7. That means if we increase the tension, the frequency of B will decrease and that beat frequency is increasing. That means B is the lower one and A is the higher one. So if A is 530, the B will be lower one, that is 530 minus 6, that is 524. So you can directly make it out, it is 524 hertz. Option 3 is the answer. Next, the increase in width of the depletion region in a PN junction diode. Uh, the increase in width happens, we know in the forward bias it is a decreased, while in the reverse bias it is increased. So it increase in forward current, uh, no, forward bias only, reverse bias only. So the option 3, in reverse bias, the depth of the depletion region width increases. Dimension of stress that is force upon area, pressure, pressure is force you know always MLT minus 2 upon area which is L2. So it gives ML minus 1T minus 2 that is an easy one again. So it is 1. So these are the next.